encourage us okay they can also love us yes and pray for us that's correct donnie you do that for me all the time right you do it for me too it's so fun y'all do it for your friends too yes you should number four we learned that if you don't quit you win that is correct you win wow you are so good at this number five what did god ask noah to do Oh, this is easy. Do y'all remember this? God asked Noah to build a boat or ark. An ark. An You're ark. right. And he did a really good job. Mm-hmm. What was coming? Why did he have to build a boat? A flood was coming. A flood was mm-hmm. coming. Lots and lots of rain. Lots of water. I like rain. Mm-hmm. It's been raining a lot lately. But not that much water. Not a no, flood. Not, no, no. No floods. Yeah, we don't want a flood. <laughs> that, that, that would be really bad. Um, number six. You ready? Finish this sentence. Okay. Our thoughts matter. That's right. They matter. Good job, Don. What you think about is important. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Very important. Number seven. You ready? What did we spell with sour punch straws? Ooh, I hope you've been watching our videos online. This is how you'll know this. That was a fun one. We spelled one kids. One kids. You should try it at home. Ask your parents. Buy us lots of sour punch straws. And eat them. Yeah, they're it's really so good. good. <laughs> okay, number eight. Okay, we got two more after this. We learned about our thoughts and that what comes in to our thoughts also comes out. Comes out. So remember, what comes inside your mind always comes out. Number nine. On Mother's Day, we talked about all the amazing women in our life. What was one of the three points to remember? To be helpful. Yep. To be grateful. Yes. And, uh oh. Be on. Oh no, guys. Honest. I forgot the last one. Honest? Yes! Good job! <laughs> always uh, tell the truth. Be honest with your parents yes. and always tell them the truth. Yes. That is a really good reminder. I almost got Woo! Okay. I was close. Johnny? I was real close. Yeah. You oh. are doing great. You're going to get a hundred on this. Wow. Okay. Here we go. Uh, we'll do a minus one. Wow. Half, half a point. Yes. E <laughs> okay. for effort. Yeah. E for effort. <laughs> uh, okay. Number 10. Okay. 
What did we learn about running our race? Ooh, that we have to remove every obstacle yes. that stands in our way, so that we can run hard and fast after God, and we don't yes. want to hold on to anything tightly that's going to get in our way. That's right, Donnie. You did such you. a good job. I'm so Thank impressed. You. I hope you guys get all the answers, and I hope you are ready because today we have a very special guest, Miss Jenny, and she has an incredible message for you. And she's、so、going to encourage you, and she's going to talk about our emotions and all of the things that come with that. And so, get ready, open your hearts, because God wants to do something very special in you. Okay, so get ready, get your notes out, get your pens, your pencils. And take lots of notes. We'll see you later. Hey, one kids. Today we are going to be talking about our emotions, and emotions are a gift from God. It's a way that we can describe ourselves and tell people what we're feeling and what's going on on the inside. There are a lot of different emotions that we can have, right? Here's just a few of them. How about this one? How about this? And this one, and this one, and you know this one. And how about this one? Those are all different emotions that we have and we feel all the time, right? And today we are going to be talking about how we feel all of those emotions and we have things going on inside of us. But we're going to be talking about not letting those emotions control us and control our lives. We're going to be talking about King David. Do you remember him? We've talked about him before. David was a man after God's own heart. He loved God so much, and he served Him his whole life. David had a lot of emotions, and he talked to God about every single one of them. When David was sad, when he was angry, when he was frustrated, when he didn't know what to do. David wasn't afraid to talk to God about all of those things and everything that he was feeling. Here's a few of the things that David talked to God about. He talked to God when he was afraid. In Psalms 27:1, it says, "The Lord is my light and my salvation. He protects me from danger. Whom shall I fear?" David knew, even that he would, when he was afraid, that God was with him and God would help him through it. Something else that David talked to God about was when he was lonely. In Psalms twenty-five six, it says, "Look at me and help me. I'm all alone and in big trouble." David knew that even when he was alone, that God was always with him and would help him through anything. Something else that David talked to God about was when he was sad. In Psalm thirty verse five b, it says, "Weeping may go on all night." But in the morning, there is joy, and David knew even when he was sad that he could find his joy in his light in God. And just like David, we too can talk to God. We can talk to Him about everything that we're feeling and everything that we're thinking. So here's a few things we want you to know: things that are going to help you not let your emotions control you and help get you through. The first thing we want to talk about is number one: be vulnerable. Do you know what vulnerable means? It means that you're open and honest about what's going on inside your heart. It means that you're sharing those things and you're talking about them, and not just keeping them inside. And just like David, we can talk to God about all of those things, right? But God also puts people in our life, very special people, that are there for us to encourage us, to help us, to give us wise advice when we need help. And a few of those people are people that you know that are in your life every day, like your parents, maybe your grandparents, maybe your friends, your teachers at school, even your leaders here at church. So those are just a few people that you can talk to. Who's someone in your life that you can trust and talk to? Those are the ones that we want to be vulnerable with and share those things. Now we're going to pretend that this here is like your emotions, right? So we're talking about we don't want to just keep things on the inside. We want to talk about them and get them out, right? So it's so important that we do that. And this is kind of like when your emotions are here on the inside, when you don't talk about them, when you just keep it to yourself, when you don't tell anybody. It starts to put a lot of pressure on the inside of you. 
It starts to make you feel emotions that are really yucky inside that make you not feel good. And when you just keep it in there and you keep it in there to yourself, we're going to pretend like this is your emotions. They start to get really out of control on the inside, right? So when you don't talk about it and you keep it to yourself, it keeps building and building that pressure until little by little it starts overflowing and pouring out of your heart and it feels like all of your emotions are going crazy, right? And this is why it's so important that we talk about our emotions and what's going on. We don't want it to get so crazy inside that one day we explode with our emotions, right? So we want to keep those emotions in control and not have those emotions controlling us. So number two, here's the second thing to remember. We want to take God's peace. Jesus promises us in the Bible that he will give us peace. In Colossians 3.15 it says, And let the peace that comes from Christ rule in your hearts. For as members of one body, you are called to live in peace and be thankful. You see, peace is a gift that we get from God. Um, it's something that we can keep on the inside of us, that no matter what's going on around us and in our world, we can be at peace on the inside because that's something that Jesus gives to us. And then number three, are you ready for number three? We're going to be thankful. And you know, it's really hard to be upset or stay upset whenever we're thinking about the things that we're grateful for and we're thankful for. Like that verse we just read in Colossians at the very end, it said, and be thankful. So when we're saying things out loud to the people around us and our family that we're thankful for and we're talking to God and having a grateful heart, it's going to keep our emotions in check too, right? In Proverbs 17, 22, it says, a cheerful heart does good like medicine, but a broken spirit makes one sick. So being thankful, like we said earlier, it changes how you're feeling on the inside and it changes those emotions. So remember one kids, emotions are a gift from God. And we don't want those emotions to control us. We want to have control of those emotions. So we want to be vulnerable and talk to the people in our lives that God has placed there. We want to be thankful and we want to take that space. Let's pray together. Jesus, I thank you so much for our lesson today and for each and every student that is watching in a classroom or listening online. I thank you, God, that as we are learning about our emotions and how not to let them control us, that we're going to learn to be vulnerable with those people that you've put in our lives that are there to love us and encourage us and help us through the hard things. I thank you that when we're stressed or we're anxious, that we're going to choose to take your peace and have peace on the inside of us, no matter what's going on in the world around us and in our world. I thank you that we are going to be thankful and grateful for all of the amazing things that you have brought and placed into our lives. In Jesus' name, amen.